Kobe are a prized catch here in Southwest Florida. They are hard fighting and make delicious table fare. I'm gonna walk you guys through how I target and catch Kobe at what baits I use and where I find them and then show you some videos of where we landed some big ones. Every spring, Kobe migrate from the Southern Gulf of Mexico to the Northern Gulf and then vice versa in the fall. And they come and settle down between Fort Myers and Key West. They start showing up in our area in October and stay until April. There are a variety of different areas you can find them in the fall and winter. The best bet is the towers. There are seven towers in the Southern Gulf and almost all of them will hold cobia at one point. Cobia likes structure, so you'll find them on wrecks, reefs, sinkholes, and potholes, or any area you see sharks, goliaths, or cudas, there could be cobia. Or if you're lucky enough to see a sea turtle swimming, there could be cobia close by. They will eat a variety of baits. I've seen them caught on live baits, and if you ever have an issue finding live baits, drop some zabikis off any of the public wrecks under 50 feet of water. You'll load up on sardines, pilchards, threadfins, pinfish, grunts, and blue runners. And they'll also eat squid, cut bait, and even chase after these cool little artificial lures from Nomad. This first video was an awesome fall run we had chasing Kobe on the towers with my good buddy Bill and Eric. Get him up. Are you coming up? Oh, is it? Cobia. Is that or? Yeah, that is a baby cobia. Cobia. Target species. Wired. It's tiny though. It's like tw 25 inches. Well, they're in school. Oh! Nice. He swam out of the net. I think I have to keep her, but you're right. He's long. See the spikes on his back? No, I'm keeping the net up. I'm keeping the net up. I think that was a big cobia. Yeah, it was a big cobia. That I saw down there. Look at all the little remoras on them. I was on the DTX. That looks like cobia. This is better too. Eh. Come on at me now. Eh, I don't want to lose them. I will. Oh. I'm acting like Coming over here. Coming up now. We're going to see him, whatever he is. Go. That's a go. Nah, yeah. About the same size. About the same size. He ate this though, that's good to know. You wanna get him? Whoa. <laughs> Got him. Um, let me... I didn't think he would eat this, but man, he smoked it. Look, I did cool. smoke that. Uh, we got pliers. Okay, Jay. Yeah, he smoked this deep minnow. Okay, Jay. Thank you. I'm not gonna get a measure on him. We'll just get him out of here. I caught a bunch of these. Sorry. You're good, buddy. Whoa, no, no, not yet. Another way. This one is. I got the. This is the mackerel color for the Nomad. Yeah, I got. I got. This is only like a three, four inch or two. It's like perfect size for a cobia. After catching a good amount of smaller cobia inshore, we head offshore to the R Tower. It's one of the 10 Air Force Relay Towers offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. They range in depth from 30 feet all the way to up to 130 feet in some of the towers in the Keys. Yeah, these gaffers are netters, you think? Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, I think we're far out enough away now. No, we want to be gone. Oh, shit. There's big reef dogs here we've got. I want to get away from the sharks, too. Alright. You're pulling him yours away, Bill. You came off? Hey, Bill, you're... What is that? Oh. Holy... We got a second gap. We need it. You can gap it? Yeah. Alright, alright. That's a big cobia, dude. Big, big cobia. That might be a 50 pounder. Oh shit, dude. Yeah, he, he's coming towards us, man. We're gonna get a shot at him right now. You got the gap, Bree? You got a second one in case we need it? Or a net? Get it, get it! Oh no. Yeah, bring him backwards too. Got him, you got him, you got him. Hey, bring him, bring him in, bring him in. Watch your feet, watch your feet. What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's a big boy, dude. Yo, that's a big one. On the, uh, on the Azuri, right? On the, the DK, on the minnow. On the minnow. You gotta bring a hockey player with you. Because, but it wasn't the leader that broke. Look at the morons. This giant cobia put up an awesome fight, exactly what we were looking for at this tower. The other side of the room. It's gonna drift it. Straight down or leave it like halfway, you think? All right, we're going down. All the way to the bottom, you think? We're gonna get, I think we're gonna glide though. I go straight down the bottom. Uh, oh, you're on? I'm on. Some just ate this on the way. You want to turn the engines off or now? Is they're right behind the boat. Don't we get caught in the engine? My bait's right here for him. Oh, oh, there's some big cobia. You got him? Yeah, we're on. I'm reeling up. He just took yours. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, up. He's coming back. Oh, fuck. Is he off? There you go. I got eaten, I think. No, no, no. I'm good. Yep, I'm in, I'm in. I'm good. This might be a bigger one. This is a big fit, whatever it is. Yeah, we're really far away from that tower. You want to chase him down or? Dude, he's peeling drag. Peel line, man. Dude, you might get pulled, man. You're you're kind of down. You're you're down to it, dude. I think this is a bigger fish. 
whatever it is. Feel sharky. Getting that line back, man. I don't know, it's even coming to the surface yet. Were you on the bottom or like halfway up when it hit you? Oh, you were? Okay. Getting line back, whatever it is. We're way out here. Be a yeah. Cause just because it's moving so quick all over, you know? Is it feeling too big to be a cobia? Uh, it's probably you're right, it's probably a shark then. And we can see it. I just don't know if it's down deep or if it's yeah, I got one in my bag. You want to grab it? I'll grab it for you. We don't want to kill your ruin, dude. I'm, I'm feeling it's feeling like a shark now, just because it hasn't came up yet, you know. It could be like a 60 pounder, man. 60 pound cobia. Yeah, I mean, there's big cobia at this spot, so. And we've only seen cobia here. That's the only fish that's been at this spot. Is this very neutral? We gonna see this thing or what? Yeah, straight down is kind of sharky. You want me to take over? Or? <laughs> no. Oh, I know, man. I was backing up. Thank you. Got it? I'm reeling in. I'm in, man. How's he feeling? Oh. On the squid tracks, man, these artificials, dude, they're oh. All right. Thank you.
Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should. Well, I, I like that idea, but <laughs> well, now you want to shoot. Now everybody wants to see you shoot. You don't want to be gas though. Are you trolling her up? We're not starting. She's wrong. Yep. Off? Oh, we're marking it really good right now. I'm just gonna. On the way up, right? Where is the uh, yellow? There it is. There it is. Well, that's looking like a Goliath. But yeah. After catching our cobia, we ride home into the sunset, and I'll see you back in the kitchen. What's up everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna to be cooking up this delicious cobia filet that we caught just yesterday. So, to start, we've got our cobia staked out, and I'm using this seasoning on it. It's the uh, seafood spice rack. Um, it's really good, it's a little bit sweeter. It's gonna go well with the coconut curry sauce that we made. So, so we're gonna cook it and get a nice sort of crust on it. So throw it in here, face down. So it cooks in the olive oil that we've got on a cast iron skillet and we got our oven preheated to 375. So wait till we get a nice little crust on this piece of cobia. Our Kobe's cooking nice here. We got it on a high heat. We're probably gonna turn it down a little bit. Just gonna season up the other side before we slip it. And then we're gonna finish it off in the oven so it cooks it all the way through. Turn it down just a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and flip our Kobe. Get cooked nicely on the outside there. Give it another minute or two and then we're gonna throw in the oven to finish it off. All right, now we got both sides of our Kobe cooked. We're gonna throw it in the oven. About five minutes. Finish her off and we'll check her in a little bit. All right, it's been about five minutes. Let's check on the Kobe, see if it's done. Just gonna get a little fork here. Oh yeah, and you can see it's already done. It's flaking apart like that. So now that it's done, we're gonna go ahead and add some of our rice and our coconut curry sauce. It's already cooked, so we're just gonna heat it up like this and then eat it. Throw our sauce in there, heat it up. Mix everything together and put it out off the top. We're up to this sauce on top of this cobra. And then eat it. All right, let's taste it. It's cooked perfectly all the way through. Oh, it's hot, but wow, that is delicious. Kobe's one of my favorite fish to eat and catch. Such a hard fighting fish. Man, it tastes real good. Jerks joined us on this adventure. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll include a link to it below in the description. Oh, that's got so that, that's not bad. Yeah. You need anything? What the land up here? We'll see. You don't know yet, do you? No. Oh, he's running. Oh, what is this? He's running, man. Slide that rod over for me. Sure. A couple of rod holders. Oh. Might need to be. I'm hoping it's not an AJ, but I'm getting good vibes so far.
Omar. Oh, look at that. Cobia, 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 Cobia. These Cobia swam right up to the boat when we were fishing grouper potholes 80 miles offshore. I gotta get a where, where is he, Omar? Where is he? Where is he? Right here, right here. Coming on the other side. Coming on the other side. Oh. Um, decent. That could be the cobia right there. Oh, what? His his fish? Yeah. Oh. They hit the bottom. You know that? No, this isn't a no, cobia. This. It's not a cobia though. No, 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 no. It's pretty exciting for a minute. Mm -hmm. you said you were looking for cobia today, Omar. They're around. Was that a small rig grouper? I almost think it's a small snap. Not a small snap, a good snap. Really? Hmm. What do you got on here? What is that? She's starting to show now. Is that a red? Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Keeper. That's yeah. not a bad one. Yeah. On the way down? Kobe a Kobe a love bucktails. <laughs> So when I um caught that 38 incher, he ran me into structure and I broke him off once. Yeah. It's not a bad group, man. Yeah, I floated the squid at like 20 feet down, and then I got tired of going back to the fish. So I dropped it. By the way, as soon as I dropped it, and I. Like, no, nothing. Man, those are some big, big cobia. Holy shit. I got a couple of and got the hook and... He's got you in structure, dude. Yeah, I know. There's a couple different ways to do it. Slack it off and let him swim out? Slack it off, give him a minute, and then go full like drag and rip him out. Like you do with the Todd. Yeah. Let's slack. Too. And that's one way to do it? And the, then you'll feel him. The other way is to um play the... Light, light line. So it's How light is it? 40. Sure. Yeah. Here, I'll take it. <laughs> hey, he knows. Let me know when you're done. I'm not too shy to bag. This yeah. is really tiny. <laughs> Why did he give it to you? <laughs> this is an outrage. He's peppy. He's peppy, though. Right? It's a vermilion it. snapper. There should be I'm lots gonna, of worms here. Put, I'm going to yeah. live line them. It might be a lean. I see some yellow. Yeah, oh, never mind. That's him. Oh, that was his thing. It's <laughs> an amberjack. This guy's getting live. No, I saw his. Uh, the yellow tail? That's a tail. Yeah. Go. I'll take them. I gave you another species. Throw that right in the box. Throw that yellow tail in the box, yeah. man. Another right behind the engine. That is a giant, giant cobia. Never reeled so fast in my life. <gasps> He's looking at it. Away. Are those different cobia? They look smaller. No, those are the same cobia. big cobia. That first. One. Well, I know they're big cobia, but where's the other one? They're just when they're that close to the boat, it's hard till they. I want that big one. At this point, I'll take any of them. Yeah, we're still working on the red No, oh, that'll come. Don't worry. They're right out there. <laughs> Get that one, right? Oh shit! I got. Oh no! Fuck! What happened? Your lines in the water. And I got. The little one wants to eat. Oh, you see him right now? Yeah, yeah. they're right here. Oh, this big one is. Oh, he's got. He's. The little ones looked at it. No, the big one is chasing yours. But man, they're freaking big. Oh yeah. Give him the squid. Yeah, I don't have squid. There's no more squid out there. I got a squid right there. Float me. You have everything. Float me through. Oh, they're he's come, they're coming back. They're curious. Oh, yeah. Very. Very. Honestly, give me the gaff. Give me the gaff, Omar. That fish will throw you over. It's right here. It's right here. Where? Right there on the right side. Give me the gaff. 
Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Sweetie's got him on the switch. Whoa. He, he did goes. it, he did it. There he goes. He you got him, you got him. Ah. I'm gonna free gap this other one. All right, watch this yellow line. Watch this yellow line, Brendan. Guys, Brendan. get the other one, guys. Get the other one. Omar, come on to me, come on to oh! me. Oh! We got you. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get the gaff. Uh, I have the gaff. gaff right here, but I've got to put that rod away, dude. Just this guy's a keep, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Oh, I thought you had it, dude. Shit. All right, come on. The other right. one could eat now. There's a line. You got him? Come in, come in. Watch out, watch out. There's a line, guys. There's a line. I know, we got one. Nice. Thanks, I'm going to free gaff that. All the spots we fished today were strike line spots. They make charts. And we're using the hard bottom HD one here for Southwest Florida in the Gulf of Mexico. Click the link below to learn more and use code FFA10 for 10% off. I'm gonna free gaff this guy, watch hold out. Right. When I tell you to hold on, you're gonna grab this. Oh, I'm gaff with me, okay? Yeah, guys. <laughs> He's right or hanging around the boat. Dude, I'm gonna free gaff him, Omar, okay? No, I don't have a squid. Where is he? He's over here now. He's right here, right here. Do you have a longer gaff? No. No. Foul hook him, foul hook him. I know we got a million rods, but let's get this gotta, Cobia. Get, get the rods, put the rods away, Brendan, because we don't need you gaffing it right this second. Alright, tell me if he comes close, alright? I gotta reel him in. Can I just cut this one off that's tangled up? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cut this. Not, it's yours, though, that's why I'm asking. Uh, hold on, don't cut this yet, because you may be fine. As soon as I get the hook out, you might be all right. Yeah, that's awesome. Because it's only twisted once or twice. Got another species? Yeah, another species. Did you, you get that? Or? Yeah, I did. I yeah, did. Me too. It's not big enough. It's not big it? enough. I don't know, but it's not big enough. That's him. Nope, it's not. Is that another one then? It looks like a tuna or a Why do I got. Can you. Oh, this way. Get the yeah. rods out of the. We're all tangled up here. Get shit out of the way, dude. All right, I'm just gonna cut him then. Cut it, then. It, well, give him a minute if he thinks, but get everything else out of the way. The uh, gaff, move... the other rod. All right, I'll move this in the gaff then. Have a bunch of rods so, so that's not the cobia, is what you're telling me. No, and grab the other one and that should be out. The, the rod that's over the, on the bottom. Yep, I'm moving him, Omar. It looks like a bonita, right? Oh, you got two here in the water, huh? I know. There's, there's one right here, though. Uh, there's the cobia. There's the cobia. Yeah, there's the big right cobia. Here, right here, Brandy. coming up to the boat. Where? Are we, right, left? No, right left, here. left. The other side. By the engine. Yeah, he's right out there. This is good bait right here. Is that bonita? Yeah. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Right here. Right here. Right here, Omar. Right, yes, that'll do it. He's going to eat that. Going for yes, it. yes, yes, yes. Keep it there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sick a little. He wants to. He wants he to eat it. Squid. He may go for the squid. Oh, my God. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming to you, Get, right? Reel it this way. Reel it this way. He will eat it. He's going to eat it. No. Can you get him to come closer to the boat by, like, inspecting it? Because I'm going to free gaff him. Come on, come on, come on. That fish is going to throw you in the water, what it's going to do. Someone's going to have to come grab gonna this. He's going to eat the squid. He's going to eat the squid. <sighs> Did the squid fall off? No, it's oh, still no, there. No, we're good. It's just drifting. We're good. He's going to come back. He didn't leave yet. We, we should throw that Kobe in the box, honestly. Dude, don't worry about that Kobe right now. Kobe's fine. Still alive. He's right up here, Omar. He's right up here. I'm going to put a hook on this. I'm tracking this for you, Omar. He's right up front. He's right in front of the trolling motor. Um, he's right there, right there, right here. I'm spotting him. He's gonna stay near the boat, dude. We got his friend. I'm gonna put a... I hope those guys don't see us running around the boat with a gaff over there. And they come closer. Oh. Who is surfing? Yeah. He's right there, so you get ready. I don't see him. It's right there. Coming, oh, towards oh, us, coming towards us, coming towards us, coming towards us. So do you want me to free gap him if I get a shot, Omar? No, he, that, he, you're going to lose a gap on that fish. That's true. Coming for one of ours. 
Oh, come on, come on. It's going to you, Hal. Nope, you looked at it and... I, I got a free gaff this one. Dude, he's not going to eat our baits. We're going to lose right, him. but if you lose a gaff, you're buying me a gaff. I'll buy you a gaff. This is the same gaff I have on my boat. You get hurt. I'm the thing is... I'm worried we'll spook them. Do dude, where's your big gaff? You had the one we had at a pulley. Oh my god, I would have had him, dude. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start fishing then for him. Gaff's gonna be right here. You know what? When the small one took my squid, the big one looked at two pieces and left. The thing is, the small one seemed to me like it wanted to eat. It came up to my bait like twice. Yeah. You see him? He's right over there somewhere. Yeah, here he is. Oh, he sees it. Nope. It's gonna be hard with an artificial because he's being real. Yeah, he's tricky. I've caught a lot of Kobe on this artificial though. Yeah, I get it. And I, I have on the other artificial that you guys didn't work on. Let him eat. Okay, Let him okay, eat. Okay, okay. Oh. He's that is. Play him. Right. Do not tighten that drag super tight. All right. That is like a 70 pound Kobe. Yeah. Load him up. Once he's loaded, he's loaded. Oh, we got him! He's on! Oh! Get, get out of his get, way. Get, get, all the, get all the rods out, guys. All the rods out. All the rods out. I think he's got a lot of power. You might get a shot at him here, though. You ready for this? Yeah. Do you have a second? You don't have a second gaff, do you? Yeah, you can keep him if you want. I come over you. He oh, you have a second gaff? Yeah, but this is really little. So. All right, well, let me get him on this. He hasn't even Take started. Your time, okay? I, I know, but we might get a shot at him here. He's real close to the boat. He might not even know he's hooked. You're going to get a shot. Come in, come in, watch out. Help me, help me, help me, help me. You're going to lose the gaff. Yes! Put it on the floor, put it on the floor before you rip a seat. Oh, oh crap. Oh, yes! Oh my, you broke out bloody. Get some water on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, a nice shot. Shut up. Monster no. Cobia. Huge. Huge. Great. Great friggin' neck shot, Brendan. Gap, gap. Uh, gap, gap, sorry, I'm from the Northeast. Hey, uh, is that wow. Yet? Wow, it's a huge fish, guys. Take pictures later. Can wow. You get... Look at this. He, this Kobe threw this out. I'm trying to push him with the Get him in the box here. Keep going. Almost, almost. One more kick. Yeah, there we go. Hey, it's nice and <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that I'm was good. insane how you did that. I'm good with the gaff, man. Do the floor first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kobe is one of my absolute favorite fish to catch out in the Gulf of Mexico. They're hard fighting, smart fish, and absolutely delicious. Can we tell them we just got a 60 pound Kobe? No. No, they're fine. It, does, it looks like a CD actually, 34. Homer, we're kind of drifting now. You don't need it, right? You use a rag if anything. You need to buy any? Thank you. We well, shouldn't tell him about the Kobe, Omar. No. Yo. No. I thought that was you, but I was like, I didn't think you had a radar yet. Oh, it's the Intrepid. That's our buddy, yeah. Now you can tell him. Hey. I don't think that fish was, it didn't feel like it. Yeah. Yeah, we got what? Ours, ours is not as big to measure. You're not the way to get out home. Oh, you just made up. How big is it? I saw. I thought that was you, but he, he wasn't sure about the radar. I was like, dude, I can swear that that's them, but he said he didn't have a radar yet. Yeah. We're gonna hook on because we don't have a trolling motor. <laughs> so we're just gonna drop right here. What's going on, Rich? You got blood you got it. all over all the right, side of your boat, up, just so you know. Away. Back up, back up. You got blood all over the side of that boat, just so you know. Yeah. Nah, it's whatever. The boat. 
Tell that to Omar. I'm getting hit. Yep. On the big fish. That bump? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, on the big one? Yeah. Oh, on good. the grunt. Okay, here we go. How about, can I start? I would start now, yeah. 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 Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I got it. Alright, now. now you're on a real fish, man. And reel down. Yes, that's a good one. He's yeah. out of the hole. He's out of the hole. No, you're not giving up on that. Nope. You need help? You sure? Yeah, pull, I pull. Be quiet, all of you. Yeah. Pull your pants down or anything. Pull up and reel down. Pull up and reel down. That's yeah. that's. Come on, pull up and reel down. What are you doing? That's the same one I hooked. Come on. Give him the rod holder thing. Do you want to? Gotta be a Goliath, dude. No, there's no Goliath. There's no Goliath oh, here. A nope. This dude. can't be a. There's not a real fish. Here you go. I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. Huge, man. Yeah. That, no that's shit. what. That's yeah. what I had. No shit. Pull up and reel down. Luckily, it's a black. Yeah. There are here black right? here. It's coming up. We're in a piece of structure, Omar. Is it out of season? It's not. No. What? Blacks are always in season. I, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. Well, if that's a black, dude, that's a big fish. Oh, this could be a Goliath. Oh, that's a big grouper. Oh, yeah. This honestly could be a black, Omar. Yeah, it could be a black. This could be a black. No freaking way we're going to get a black today. That'd be awesome. Oh, man. What pound liter is this? 40. Hey, Hal, can you hold my beer? Will you get away from can me? You hold my beer, please. Get him away from me. He, he, dude, he, he, you actually could get this fish, <laughs> although it's on 40. You will, you will. That's on a 40 liter? Yeah. Oh, uh, that ain't good. I know, but he's I gaining on him, Omar. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's a black because he ain't pulling them, though, unless it's a little one. Are you kidding? A little one? This is like a 50 pound black, if it is. It's more than 50. Yeah. Look at how heavy that rod is. It's this might be a Goliath. Trust me, if that was a 50 pound black, that thing would be over there now. Okay, 40 pound black. No, he it's would pull a lot more length. What is All this right, then, a Goliath? Want to put that thing in now? No, it, my... it could be a big red grouper. It could be a gag. It could be, it could be a small I, black. I think a gag would be a wild wood pipe. No, this, no, this is a really big grouper. It's a Goliath. You think? Yeah. yeah. I've never caught a Goliath out in just I'm like this random for, bottom. I'm for a 15 pound black. Remember, I had a big thump that 15? ate my grunt too. Yeah. Omar. No, this is if this is a black, it's like a 30 pounder. Yeah, 20 maybe. That's it. He's puffing and puffing over here, and he hasn't huffed and puffed all day, and he hasn't complained. So now he's complaining. So I figured it's a big. You want me to take? You want me to step in for a minute? No. <laughs> I see him, man. You're like halfway up. You're gaining on him. Yeah. It's a Goliath, I think. I don't see him yet, though. Hey, Hal. Just take your time. You, you did the hard part, man, oh, stopping him getting the structure. Hal, Just take, we'll see it. Take your time. All seriousness, can you slide forward a little? Thank you. Yeah, take your time on this one, man. Yeah, we'll we'll see him. I have a fish on, and I didn't want to get in your way, and he came around a little bit. I mean, it's not fighting like a shark. That's that's what we got going for us. Yeah, I think this is a group. This is definitely a grouper, either a Goliath or a Black. Is that a Goliath or a Black, Omar? Oh. Oh, it's a big shark. It didn't run at all. Shark. What? Is it like a nerf? Yeah. A nerf I think it's a big nerf. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh my god. The way he. Dude, he didn't fight at all. What are you talking about? Get out of your way. No, but he didn't no, like. No, he's pounds. lean. He's heavy, but he's lean. But we get away. I knew it was a nerf. We and that's on 40. I can't believe you got that shark on 40. I caught, I caught nurses on. Look at the size of this thing. Wow. wow! That's gonna come up beautiful. Look, look, look. look wow! <laughs> That's cool. All nice right, catch, dude. All nice. right, somebody take the rod now because I can't. Just cut the line. You can't yeah. Anything. He's gonna run soon when he sees the yep. boat. Yep. Oh my God! What is that? Two, three hundred? He's two fifty. He's tail wrapped now, so he's gonna run and break your line in a second. By the That's way, really cool. By the so we're headed back to the dock now to fillet up these fish and cook them for you guys. Stay tuned. This is the smaller of the two Kobe. This one measured in at 41 inches. There's really two ways you can fillet a Kobe in my opinion. The first one is the way I'm doing it now, um, where you can make the cuts going from the head to the tail 
and trace along the bone or the other way is to cut off the head because you, as you can see it's kind of got an awkward shaped head to fillet it so it moves around a lot so there's two different ways to do it um, I prefer to do it this way on the smaller ones All right guys, now that we've got both sides of our cobia filleted, our bones and our rib cage cut out, we'll see you back in the kitchen. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're cooking up that cobia that we caught. You've got a nice little staked out chunk of Kobe here and we're gonna blacken it. This is the easiest way to do it. I would recommend everyone trying to blacken fish before they do any more advanced recipes because it's delicious. So we've got our Everglades fish and chicken seasoning. We're gonna throw a little bit of it on either side on our cutting board here. Not too much. We've got our oven preheating to 375 and we've got our cast iron skillet here with some olive oil in it. So when that heats up, we're gonna do about two minutes on either side of the filet and then bake it off in the oven to finish it. All right, now that the pan's nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and put our filet in. Let's do it sizzle as it goes in. So we're trying to get a nice little black in crust on the outside. So we're gonna do this for about a minute or two and then flip it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip our cobia. There you go, looks exactly like it should. I'm going to give it about two minutes and then we're going to put it in the oven to cook it all the way through. Mm. Smells absolutely delicious. All right, let's go ahead and put her in the oven. Check back here in about five minutes. So it's been about five minutes. We're going to go ahead and check on our cobia and see where we're at. See if it's cooked all the way through. It looks like, yeah. Neat. See, it's a little bit undercooked in the middle. So we're gonna give it another two minutes and then it should be perfectly cooked. It's been a couple minutes. I think the cobia should be done. Let's see. Yeah. See, now we've got it cooked all the way through and it's just falling apart when you hit it with a fork, so. It is done. Go ahead and plate it, and we're gonna try this. It looks delicious, though. So we're just editing uh, some of our YouTube footage here on Premiere, and we're gonna go ahead and try this. Delicious. We got hungry dogs here, too, sitting under the desk. 
I normally serve with a little bit of tartar and cocktail sauce. Mmm. That came out perfect. We chased after these next cobia on some local wrecks about 10 to 15 miles offshore. We're fishing out here and nine miles out on rods with squid, whole squid pretty much the whole time. That's what we want. Oh, he's running, man. This could be our cobia. Fight him, man. You, you're at the perfect drag. It's gonna be a while. I'm coming. Yeah, I think this is another cobia, right? He's under, he's under. We can hit, you can reel him this way, just keep your line off the boat, keep your rod tip down so he doesn't touch the boat. There you go. Can you get him? I don't want to get him caught in the engine, so try and get him from there. Are you going this way now? Yeah, come down, come down. Come around the back. There you go. Yeah, big cobia, nice cobia, nice cobia. Move these up front. You're good. Keep them coming. That really your line in. Keep them coming. You got them. It's a little different on a spinning tackle, right, than a stand-up rod. Nice, Cobia. Nice one. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Oh, oh I didn't like that. I missed them. Keep, keep going. Yeah, let it go then, Dad. Let it slack. Let it slack. Yeah, he did not want to be gaffed. I hit his tail. Oh, there's two down there. Yeah, they're in schools. Dad, get another bait on him. Keep him coming. You got him. Keep him coming. Yeah, you got perfect drag. If he can run, let him run. There were two. Keep him coming. Oh, he just... He just ran again. Keep him coming. You're good. Oh, I see him again. I got the gap. We're good. You're good. Just freaking dove again. So close. I know, but he keeps diving. Just keep him coming. You got him. You're a perfect drag if you can gain line on him like this, right? Excellent. Yep, there we go. Keep him coming. Woo! Oh, he's freaking diving again. Come on. Pull him up. Pull him up. Pull him to me. Got him. Come on. Watch your, watch your feet. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Jacob. Woo! <laughs> good. You're good. You're good. Yep, when he's running, don't, don't reel. It's a decent sized one too. You could, we could net a more gap from either one. Keep them coming, Dad. Keep them coming. Where are you, buddy? Keep them coming, Dad. Yeah, I know. He doesn't want to come up. We'll get him now. He took off when he saw the boat, too. Yeah, he did. I, like, saw him, and I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a good one. Right yep, we're good. We got the engines out, too, this time. He's ours. Yeah. Okay. Keep coming. We should see him soon. This is a nice one, too. This is probably, like, a 25, 30-pounder. Not a bad fish at all. Yeah, he's shaking his head. Wait. Yep, yeah, I see him, I see him. Keep him coming, keep him coming. Keep him coming. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, come here, come here. No, he's not. He, he's taking off, taking off again. Keep him coming. All right, reel back on him now. He's hooked good, too. Yep, we got him on the rod we want, too, with the leader. Yeah. I just tied this knot, too. Yeah, you get him, you get him. If not, I'm gonna try and get him. Come oh, on, oh, where are you, buddy? I don't see him. Keep him coming. Remember, these are really strong fish. They can fight for a while. So you're perfect drag. Keep him coming. Yeah, yeah, when he runs, you let him run. We do not want to break him off. Yep, he's coming up again. Coming to me. Oh, he's going again. Nope, he's there. Keep coming. Yep. I know, I know. We'll get him. I don't want to break him off though, so. Keep tension on him. So we're playing him slow. We're not buffing up the drag. We're playing him slow. When he runs, he's running. This is the way to get a fish like this. We should see him again in a second. Yep, keep coming. Yep, he's coming up again. Come on, bring him, bring him. Yep, I see him. He's diving. Come on, keep him coming. Keep him coming. I got him, I got him, get him, get him. Got him. Yes, In the net. Baby! Oh, boy! Oh, oh man! <laughs> Look at that fish. High five, Dad. Oh, yep. I have really loose drag on this. This is feeling like another cobia, but... Or a shark. But my drag is just so loose. There we go. It's actually, it, yeah, it feels like a small Kobe. It's manageable, whatever it is. It's coming towards us. I don't know what this is. I think it might be a small Kobe. Probably won't keep though. What is it? Is it a grouper? Oh, nice! The gag grouper. Get it, get it. That's a keeper gag grouper. That is a big grouper. Nice gag grouper. We just pulled off this rack. This is a good fish. Take a watch out. Get your rod out of there. Oh, Dad, this might be a cobia. I actually think it might. Just keep fighting him, Dad. Keep fighting him like that. Keep fighting them like that. You're good on drag, you don't want to break them off. Keep going. If this is a blue runner, I'm gonna be upset. I mean, it's fighting like either a Kobe or a blue runner. You got it, Dad, come on. Just keep it tight, keep reeling them. You'll get your gain in line on them. Going in the engines. Ah, oh, broke you off in the engine. What was it? was it? Oh, that was You don't need more drag, you'll break them off. Just keep them coming like that, Dad. Trust me. Keep it tight. Yep, keep them tight. He's under the boat. No. Oh, snap. One again. No, no, you're a little too tight. He runs it first. Too tight. Is he off? No, he's on, he's on still, he's on. 
Pump it up a little bit. He's on. He's on. You're on. You're on. Jake, you want the honors on this one? You want to coach me through it, Brandon? Yeah, yeah. Let me see where your drag's at. You're good. Pump it up a little bit. All right, you're good. Keep him coming. He's under the boat right now. I got it. No, yeah, yeah, you're doing good, you're doing... We gotta see him first. I think he's a cobia, though. It's tough to control, so when the boat goes up, try and gain line on him, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Because we're in rough weather, we can use that to our advantage. But always keep it tight, you know that. When I let him run, do I stop really? Yeah, when you see the head shaking, the tip going crazy, just let him run. See, like right there? He's right there, right there, yeah. No, I don't. Oh, yep. He's shaking his head. Yeah, I think this is another Cobia. He doesn't want to be here. He saw this right and got taken. Yeah. They're right under us, man. I'm glad I brought this rod out. Me too. Coming. You gain a line on him or what? Because we can bump up a little bit if we're not getting in line. Okay, let's go a little bit. A little more. Let's see if we can get more line on him. He's probably not gonna like that and he's gonna go crazy, so let him run. Yep, keep getting line on him as soon as he's not head shaking. Good, go, go, go. You're good. Let him run. See, there you go. As soon as you start seeing line peel off, then you know he's running, right? And you can reel up until then. Yeah, I think we do have another Kobe on. He's under the boat right now. We can't move him, though. We're in a pimp pot. We can't move around. Keep... Gotta keep the line off the boat. You're good. Reel, reel. Yeah, I think we gotta bump up his drag a little bit because he's under the boat and like normally in a stand-up rod we'd be moving around, right? Yeah. So we so he's not touching the boat. You're good, you're good. Can I reel him right now? I don't know, this is definitely a bigger one. Although that last one was still probably good. Like I put it up just to the drag up even more and it's still I can't really gain much on it. Could be a shark though. Could be a shark then. Or like a massive cobia. Those are our two options. Yeah, see, try and gain line on like that when the boat goes up. Yeah, if he's too big, that was like perfect size for the net, the last one. Yeah, he doesn't like that. Yeah, handline him now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he could have been in structure. We got him now, right? Yeah, I think this actually might be a cobia that ran us into structure. So keep it full drag. Don't let him get back in there. Yeah, he's out now. Look, he's moving around. Well, when should we go west drag? Like, he's going to try to run, right? You don't want to break it? I know, but he could get back. Goliath? What is that? It's a Goliath. Yeah. Oh, that's a big Goliath. Yeah, he had us in structure. That's what happened. Wow, look at that puppy. Nice Woo. fish. We're gonna let this Goliath out. Yeah, feel the leader. It's all frayed up where he had his instructor. Like down there. Oh, yeah. Geez. Yeah. Got a Kobe on? Sure. Nice. What we like to see. Yeah, he's running like a Kobe. Yeah. I think this is one. Jake, you wanna grab this guy? Yeah, he's running. No. Did you just come off? Can you get in line on him? That's the question. Oh, I think we got another Kobe on then. Let Jacob jump in there, Dad. 
Yeah, he's running. This is a good one. <laughs> he's dumping live. Drag if he's dumping line like that, otherwise we're not gonna get him in. He, he's still dumping. I mean, I'm just gonna keep him away from the boat, okay? Do your thing. Yeah, he's on top. I think this is another cobia or a shark. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. We did really well on Cobia. We got two really good ones at the boat, both over a 40 inch fish. And we got that nice gag grouper to keep. So good, great, great day underwater. Good fishing for a rough day. Yeah, you can see it's really, really rough out here. Probably three to four miles and we're only about 10, 12 miles outside of the inlet. But we still did, still did pretty well. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe.